All right, guys, welcome to the beginning of a new crafty vlog. It's Saturday. It's June 11th, and I just wanted to show you how I use these DPNs uh, to hold my piece in place, um, the head in place of this emotional support sunflower turtle in progress. This is actually the last one. There's the other two three i just finished that one. Oh, i just showed you all my junk oh well wow. um i just finished that one this morning and uh so this is number four i just wanted to show you that really quickly um how i'm holding that turtle head in place before i get to sewing all right welcome 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 hope uh you guys are having a good day all right, everybody, it's Saturday. It is uh, June 11th, and I just got, wait, is it the 11th? 10th, June 10th, and today is national, no, worldwide knit in public day, and so um, that's what I did. I actually have one of my friends who I know from a, you know, she, she and I go to church together and she started knitting or she always knew, but she's got back into it. And so we went to the knitting tree LA today and we sat outside, we knit, we chat and, and we knitted, we chatted. And then we walked over to an area brewery and, um, continued to knit and chat and eat and have a nice cold drink and we just had a blast i'm just gonna pop up some pictures in a second here so you can see uh what a good time we have but before i do that i wanted to show you uh what i got so i got this yarn uh from the knitting tree and it is i think the brand name is gusto wool and this may be the carmen base or the carmen colorway oh it says this is made in turkey Hand dyed sock weight yarn is 80 20, uh, 440 yards. And this, well, actually, it has a color number 1407. Hmm, it says it's hand dyed, but I guess it's hand dyed in Turkey. I don't know. Or the base was made in Turkey. Anyway, would you just look at how pretty? So this is a very watermelony color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very watermelony. And then this, the speckled part, is a sort of a grayish base. But then there's all those purples and greens and whites on there. How pretty is that? I can't wait to see what this looks like knit up. But if I go to the yarn shop, guys, I gotta support it. So um, we had a good time. In the picture, you see me sitting right with the owner, Annette. And um, we just had a, a had a really good time with the ladies. And um, yeah, had a wonderful time at uh, Worldwide Knit in Public Day. And I'm sorry I didn't get to go out and hang out with Z and um, Brenda and... Uh, wait, what's her name? Did I have that wrong? Her guest, her bestie. Z and her bestie, and then I don't know who else showed up out there. I'm sorry I didn't get to go, but I had this. Is, I had already had this planned with my friends, so I couldn't make it. So anyway, I'll show the pictures here. And now I'm going to show you what I finished today. Uh, while I was at the knitting shop, I just got, at, at, when I was knitting with the ladies, I just worked on my sock. I did bring my uh, Seasonal Yarn to YouTube Hop project with me, but I never really took it out. I just chatted and knit on my sock. So there you can see the progress we have made. So, um, that's it for that. But before I left, I did finish two more. So I was almost finished last night with, um, a emotional support sunflower turtle. I finished that this morning. And then I finished the second one as well. So let me show you. So let me see if I can tell which is which. 
So here's a bigger one. So what happened is I decided to go ahead and knit the, um, so these ones are the ones that you saw in the last vlog. And everything here was knit on a size H hook. But this, um, this yarn, that's the brown, the cardamom, this is that uh, Big Twist plush, really is a tad thicker than blanket yarn to me. And so I had a harder time with that H hook on this one. So I decided to go ahead and use an I hook. Uh, but the problem is I had already made these with H hooks, but I still went with it. So I made two more, finished two more e emotional support sunflower turtles. So let me show you them right next to each other. So the heads and, and the flippers and all that are the same. It's the, well, you can't really see. Yeah, you can see that this one is bigger. And I think from here on out, when I make them, I'm going to use the eye hook. So we now have four completed emotional support. Uh, let's see if I can do this, y'all, without losing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Here they are. Four emotional support turtles. All done. All right. So that's it for this clip. I'll put those. I think I already showed you the pictures. All right. So that's it. I just got back. I had some wonderful. The brewery is strictly a brewery that we went to. And it's, it's in the same space as the Knitting Tree LA. And um, that's all they have is beer. But they have vendors, or you could actually bring in your own food. You can you could Uber eat some food to the location. Um, they don't ban any of that. All all you need to do is buy some beer. Uh, but they had this Cambodian barbecue place there, and I had some sliders that were out of this world. So so good. Anyway, that's it. That's all for this clip. Okay, I forgot to mention that um, when I started making the turtles, my goal was to see how many turtles I could get out of one ball of Bernat Baby Blanket Sand. Uh, baby Sand is the colorway. And um, so, I was, uh, and so as you can see, the whole bottom of the turtle, the, the tummy, uh, the head, the flippers, the tail, all were made from that. So I literally got four. I have this much left, which will probably make a head. Uh, but that is it. So you can get four turtle, four total turtles, tortuga, um, <laughs> from one ball of the blanket yarn. At least with the um, using the H hook mostly. So I bet you if I use the eye hook, I will have even less of this left. So we'll see on the next round of turtles I make. I have a pattern for a strawberry turtle, which I want to try next. And we will see how many turtles we can get out of the next ball of blanket yarn, which I think I'm going to be using um, a cream color for the, it's, it's going to be pink and red. And so anyway, that's it. That's all. Guys, I had to just go ahead and try this um, Premier Snow Cone. Oh, let me show you. Um, this is the Snow Cone Light Chenille. This is the stats. You can see them right there. 188 yards, 100% poly polyester, and a 200-gram ball. Tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances number six bulky in the colorway mango i'm absolutely loving it i did decide to just go ahead and use an h hook and um i tried no i i tried an h and i just could not find no stitches because this is a yarn where you're going to be mostly feeling your stitches uh you really can't see them so, 
I love it. Okay. I think I got four colors. I'm about to go back and get all the rest of them. I know. I said that last yarn haul was the last yarn haul. But I hadn't tried this and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'll wait later and tell you what this is going to be. Okay, bye. All right, guys. Here's Scott, uh, Sammy the Seal. Body and head all done. Sammy is all done. <laughs> hey guys, uh, uh, this is uh, Thursday. I haven't filmed a lot this week for the vlog, but I have been crocheting. And so let me show you. Uh, we are on to finish with our fourth of the Make Nine series that I'm doing with Laurel from the Dabbling Hook. Um, we decided to participate in, um, I don't know why I can never remember. I think her name is Valerie. Nope, that's Old Soul Crochet. I can never remember this woman's name. Um, I love her channel. Anyway, she, she hosts the Make Nine uh, Mal 2023. She hosts it every year. And I dare say this year I am actually going to be successful. We shall see. But so far, so good. Lorella and I, <clears throat> uh, as you guys know, after we did the Amigurumi book tag, a lot of us kind of realized we had a lot of books that we have not used. So uh, our Make 9 for 2023 is to make at least, to make one item from each of nine of the, um, uh, the Zumigurumi books. So this is gonna mark number four for me. And I completed Sammy the Seal. So let me show you how Sammy came out and I'll tell you about the differences and I'll tell you what I have chosen to do for my fifth uh, of the Make Nine. So let me show you Sammy the <laughs> Look at Sammy. I'm gonna show you guys a video of him cause I can't show you Sammy very well, but look how beautiful Sammy came out. You guys know that I used uh, Big Twist Cuddle Yarn, which is their answer to Blanket. And then the um, the uh, choker around his neck is the, uh, what is it? The Ice Yarns uh, ve uh, Velvet Chenille in the colorway Fuchsia. I blinged out the... Uh, the flower center and I blinged out Sammy a little bit with uh, just some gems and I'm just into sort of adorning the Amigurumi. So of course none of these, it actually helps me because I can clearly tell people don't give this to a baby because these are definitely choking hazards. And so I love putting the bling on and it'll just have a warning. This is not for a baby. This is not for a baby. <laughs> but anyway, look at how beautiful Sammy came out, y'all. And he's big, but he is not nearly as big as Laurel's Sammy, <laughs> okay? She used Chanel Home or Sweet Snuggle or one of those, and hers is ginormous. Mine is pretty big, but I, mm -mm, not as, and he used a whole lot of fiber fill. Anyway, that is Sammy, and I'm going to put Sammy down for one minute here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit. So the original Sammy was done, I believe, in worsted weight yarn. Uh, they used sport weight yarn. And the original Sammy would have been, if I had used sport weight, I would have made Sammy, um, he would have been eight and a half inches tall. Uh, this guy, it looks like he's probably about 14 inches tall. I haven't measured him. If I measure him before I upload this video, I'll put it across the screen. Uh, but, <clears throat> so, as you can see, Sammy has a bow. I did not like what the bow was looking like uh, out of that particular yarn that I wanted to use. So, I just changed it to a flower. I found an easy tutorial 
I made a two layer flower. I knew I had a bunch of like blingy flat backs that I have bought over the years that would fit right in the middle and I found the perfect one. Anyway, enjoy Sammy. Uh, right after this, I'll show you more pictures and a little bit of video of Sammy. But next up for me, I believe I'm, I believe I decided to go out of Zooming Roomy. Wait, did I do Zooming Roomy this one or? Yeah, I think, because this one has a hedgehog, so I'm not going to do that one. So my next one is going to be out of Zooming Roomy 7. And I'm going to be uh, making this guy. And let me get to him so I can tell you his name. There's a lot of cute things in here. There's even a stork. Uh, where is it? Oh, there's a horse in here. Okay, I don't know. I, I was on the page. Let me look at the table of contents because flipping through is not getting me there. So, in here is the Bobble Bear. Bob the Bear and Buddy the Bee, 65. Hey, 65. I might make Buddy down the line, but for I'm just committing to Bob the Bear for now. Let me show you Bob the Bear. Okay, here is Bob the bear can you see him well all right so that's my next one and um i'm, I'm not going to make him a traditional color i believe i'm going to use this velvet yarn from bernat um uh, and hopefully that will work out we'll see as i try to work it up if it if it's not gonna work out then we'll change it to something else so anyway Enjoy some pictures and video of Sammy, and I will see you when I come back to wrap up this week's crafty vlog. Bye. So I'm like a minute and a half into or two minutes and a half into my 15 minute break and I decided to go ahead and get started on this next project of my Meg 9. I uh, did decide to go ahead and go with that yarn I showed you earlier which is some velvet yarn that I ordered on walmart.com and here I am trying to decide if I should do a five and a half I mean a five five millimeter hook or 4.5 and I decided that the 4.5 would be best give me enough structure and give me some really uh, tight stitches or or at least I thought I would start with that one just to see if it was gonna work and it really did as I crocheted this up I held it up um, to the window there was some sunshine today and I did not see that sun coming through my piece so I was like okay the stitches are perfect and um, nice and tight and yeah at some point here I'm going to realize that I don't have a stitch marker <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and find something on my desk to use uh, for that um, so anyway yeah uh, just uh, enjoying my break today and trying to get a little bit of work done on this. I'm so excited that I'm at number five um, of this project uh, of this Make 9. I'm very excited to be actually halfway succeeding at this. And uh, yeah, here's where I realized I don't have a stitch marker and I find a twist tie. Um, but anyway... Yeah, I was going to mention that with Sammy, um, the seal, 
I did the other thing that I did change that I didn't talk about was you were supposed to um I think you crocheted a little circle for the nose um but I had a safety nose that was the perfect size and so I went with that if I can avoid um sewing pieces on that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> And I think I must have got this these little um, safety eyes from um, AliExpress, but a nice big size safe, uh, safety nose that I was able to use. Um, anyway, I think I got about, I got all the increases done on my break, I think. No, I still had two rows of increases to do, so that meant I got, yeah, I got up to five, and I had two more to do. Anyway is coming along and i'm very excited uh to just be progressing and let's see what else i get into after this all right guys bye all right gang here we go this is the beginnings of bob the bear i'm at the point of just adding rows no more increasing and um he's got his safety eyes on and I'm trying to, yeah, on the camera, these eyes absolutely, well, to me, they look the same size. But when I went to put the backs on, um, I had a, uh-oh, I had a larger shank than this, I mean, a larger washer than this that went on this one. But when it came to this one, it was too big. So I'm like, wow, how could the shanks be so different? But they really are. So I'm thinking maybe they are a different size, and I just can't tell. But anyway, as you can see, uh, I'd use the glue, the fabric glue, as well as I used the, um, I melted the shanks on this. So anyway, that's where we are. It's Friday, and it's my, uh, work from home day and I just finished my lunch break all right talk back all right so this is Bob he looks like a potato but I swear he's gonna be a bear all right this is the progress all right guys so Bob's feet are done and let me just tell you this is taking forever because I just kept messing up but I think it's because I have been up for quite some time. Uh, I don't actually know what time it is. Hold on. So it's 9.29 p.m. I've been up since about 4.30, maybe even 4. And so I think I'm just tired. So I kept the count on the second foot just was off every single time. Just kept being off, kept being off, kept being off. I kept having to rip back. I finally just ripped back the whole thing. Started all over from the beginning and still had trouble. But I'm uh, happy to say that uh, we are done with this, these two pieces. And we're going to go to bed. I mean, literally, I could all I have left are two arms, which are very simple, and two ears. Uh, but when you get tired, it's just best to stop crocheting. And I will be up early in the morning. I'll be heading out to uh, Corona to hang out with uh, Pam from Pam's Crochet and Knit Corner. Refuge uh, 3G. Refuse. Refuge. My Granny's Closet 3G's. I think that's what you call it. Anyway, Z from Zelda and RJ3 and Vicky from uh, Gotcha Hooked. And I don't know who else might show up. But, uh, yes, I'm leaving um, early in the morning. So, But I'll be up early anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Or at least I'm going to stop crocheting. All right. Talk back soon. All right. Why is this? One of these look bigger than the other one. I mean, they got the same amount of rows. Uh, it's my tension. And the issue is, I was like, I'm just going to do both of them tonight. So then my tension will be the same. And it's still, they're still different. But you know what? Guess who's not doing them again? Guess who is not doing another one? That is it. That is all. We're getting two feet. I'm not doing three. A lot of times I end up doing three, <laughs> but I'm not going to because uh, uh, this was not, 
a um what is it called this was not a what's that word uh, i can't think of the word I'm, it's too late but it was an intuitive i really had to read the pattern to get the shaping right of this foot so and you know what it's coming off looking so brown which i don't mind because it's a bear but this is supposed to be a color called shadow purple and you can't see any purple anyway all right i'm done i'm going to sleep bye y'all hey guys this is it uh we're gonna wrap up this weekly vlog just with a quick reminder of what we have made or completed this week so you saw me as I journey toward finishing up these two, um, I don't know. Maybe these were on the last week's vault. I can't remember. Anyway, these two. So I have a total of four emotional support uh, <laughs> uh, sunflower turtles. So I did these. So I think I did two on last week's vlog and then two on this week's vlog. That's the funny thing about vlogging throughout the week is I kind of forget a little bit what was shown when but anyway the other big finish was sammy and here's sammy you guys have seen sammy throughout this video uh it came out so great and yeah there's that safety nose i talked about i'm so glad i have those and that's sammy you've seen him better in the video that uh prior but i just wanted to show him one last time and he won't sit okay then we started working on our next make nine project which is the uh bob the bear and i think i am gonna make the b because it's bob the bear and buddy b and you see him right there and i think i am going to make the b as well it, it's fairly, fairly simple so i'll add it on and so let me show you the progress on bob the bear okay so we are this far on Bob, he no longer looks like a potato. He looks like he's going to be something more than a potato. He also has a safety nose. He has, uh, I've shown you guys these as I lamented on the size of them. And I'm just like, I'm not making another one, but I might. We'll see. So there is the two feet. And then I made it through this morning one of his hands. So I just have one more hand and two ears and it will be ready to put together for that. Also worked on another project I showed you with the snow cone yarn. But um, I'm not, I didn't bring it over here. It's not much further than when I showed it to you uh, before. So maybe it'll be uh, finishing this upcoming week. And so we'll probably... Uh, bob the bear in the next uh vlog which i will start today um anyway um uh, so i'm on my way out the door i'm gonna be i gotta eat drink some coffee uh get some gas but i'm gonna be meeting up with the gang um uh that i talked about earlier uh so i'm gonna do that the other thing I wanted to tell you, as I want to remind you, that Reveal Day is coming up very, very soon for the Seasonal Yarny YouTube Pop 2023 Summer Edition. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Now, you guys know I put together the playlist for you guys to just follow for the hop, and um, I get their videos ahead of time, but I actually don't watch them until the day of because i just want to enjoy it with everybody else uh so i'm excited uh to share that with you and the videos are continuing to come in throughout the weekend and uh, hopefully we will have somewhere around 18 videos uh brand new content from uh 18 creators including myself for you guys to enjoy our summer themed projects and you know it could be anything it could be the color that they chose it could be the uh actual object that they chose or anything that reminds them of summer and inspired them to make the project i can't wait for you to see mine i'm super excited about it um yeah and then uh, another video coming out this week. I am doing a collaboration with a couple of other creators uh, for uh, Christmas in July. So I will, you will see announcement videos from all of us on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. And it is definitely something that others can join in and we hope that you do. 
All right, that is actually going to be it. That's going to be all. I hope you enjoyed this weekly crafty vlog, and I will see you in the next video. Until we meet again, keep it crafty, guys, and don't forget to watch all the hot videos. Bye.